Alrighty then, the plan is to get that uh, conifer down because she's just starting to lean towards the house and in a hot minute I will um, show you how my chipper works on conifer stuff. Thanks for checking in. <laughs> Right, so that came down all alright. Uh, this is the pile of brash to uh, sort out. The only thing I didn't account for on the job, which uh, I should have seen, was all the cat shit. Over all these uh, plum slate chippings, so um, that conifer stuff is going to be smelling beautiful when I run it through the chipper. Let me show you it. It's a Green Mech CS100, 18 horsepower, Briggs and Stratton engine. The blades are on a drum. Nice big wide hopper and a spout that will fire it far enough. The weather's taken a turn for the worse as well as you can see. Um, now normally I like to bring this chipper and blast it into some borders or some beds but I'm going to chuck it into some tongue bags in the back of the van and drop them off to someone who wants some chip so um, that's ideal. So I've had this chipper maybe four years now and um, yeah it's been a great investment. I've been a bit lazy with it the last six months. I haven't used it as much as I should because I've been saving some time. Just uh, We've been chucking waste on the van and just getting rid of it because it's just at the time seemed more convenient. So um, this hasn't been used I guess in six months which is quite a long time actually to leave a piece of kit sitting but that's why I went for something that was half tidy because I know she'll fire up. Um, the blades do need changing. They needed changing last time I kind of used it. I know they're slightly dull and there's a chunk missing out of one of them. So um, we'll see how it copes with this conifer stuff. So um, so yeah, conifer through a little chipper. This is what it's all about. <laughs>
Right, it has taken me maybe half an hour, 40 minutes, probably half an hour actually, to run all that through with that chipper. Um, anything bigger than three, four inches, which I was chucking in, I would be keeping for logs, or the customer would be keeping for logs, so I wouldn't run anything more than that in there. And you've got to dress all the conifer stuff down. It doesn't like all the unions and any kind of bends and the bows and stuff like that. It doesn't like, because obviously there's no kind of uh, roll of feed. It's just gravity feed, which means you've got to push it in. But, um, but yeah, it's got all that through. Easy enough in fairness, and the blades, like I say, do need a bit of attention, but um, but yeah, bash through that, all right. So cost-wise, they're roughly about five grand to buy now, and um, when I bought that maybe four years ago, I could have bought um, a cheaper one. There are lots of these little chippers on the market now, which probably do equally good a job. You've got to weigh it up, I suppose. That, um, that chipper cost me four and a half grand at the time, and they probably run that price now when they to buy something that's half decent. I've probably used a couple of quid's worth of petrol in that chipper doing that and um, I can get rid of the chip for free and uh, also keep a friend happy so that would have um, taken me maybe an hour and a half round trip from here to get to that, that to the green waste place plus the tip fee plus the fuel so I've probably saved probably 50 quid maybe by using the chipper so you've got to work out how many times you've got to use that chipper on how many jobs to warrant having one really they are great though if you're working somewhere where you can just chip all the stuff into a bed or a compost area and you haven't got to get rid of it or the drag is quite away then you can just drag the chipper to the um to the pile of stuff that's so far i had to drag it through a lot of cat shit which um, I seem to have got away with unless I just can't smell it. So these little chippers work okay on conifer stuff. They do bog down if you get a real clumpy green section of conifer that's wet it will bog the engine down but um, they'll rev back up and keep going and they really like these chippers the straight kind of three inch diameter straight hazel and, and kind of all that type of stuff but um, yeah it will cope with it. Just got to tidy up now. Anyway catch you all later.